Hey Simleys, it's Deligracy here and I am doing a speed build today of Swedish share houses or a Swedish share house, which you're probably like, what does she mean by that? <laughs> well, basically this is a base game only build. So you don't need any expansion packs to download this off the gallery. And the idea or yeah, the idea behind it is that this is a house for two different families to live in. Uh, however, they save money by sharing the living room and dining room area. So they have their own separate houses, but in the middle, there's a dining uh, and lounge area, which I thought was kind of cool. Uh, I think shared living is becoming really quite a new thing in the world, like shared living house house expenses are going up for a lot of places in the world, especially in Australia. It's really, really hard to buy your first house here. Uh, and then in a lot of other countries, especially Europe, uh, you know, you rent, you rent a house your whole life and that's fine too. And that's kind of what you guys might do in some areas in Europe and other places, more people buy houses. But in any case, I think it's becoming more and more expensive. So things or alternative living situations, such as sharing house spaces with other families or other house owners or tiny houses, you know, that kind of thing, uh, or super environmentally friendly houses where you end up saving money in the future on energy and water supply, etc. These are all new ways that have come into uh, being a house owner. And I think it's really exciting. So it definitely inspired this build. Uh, and furthermore, you know, arguably this isn't very Swedish at all, but I called it Swedish share houses because in my mind I was going for like a Swedish looking house, uh, that kind of plain pitched roof look with the kind of boxy exterior. I love that in contemporary homes. I think they look so nice and yeah. I also decided to do a color scheme of using black and also a light sandy timber and in each house you kind of flip them around. Um, sorry, my phone just went off. I'll just turn that on silence. And yeah, I don't know. I like it. These, uh, these houses, when I say two families live in them, obviously in The Sims 4, you can't have two families live on the same lot unless you combine households. So you would have to combine the households. Uh, so you couldn't have more than eight Sims, but you know, I still think it's fun and interesting for gameplay where you don't do the whole traditional, okay, we have the house for one family and this is their house. Yeah, why not mix it up? Why not move them in together? You could have a really interesting storyline. Uh, so yeah, like one family might be renting out the other side of their house to another family who have gone into bankruptcy or something. And then I don't know, I love in my gameplay getting all scandalous. You guys know that. So I would probably do something scandalous, but you know, up to you. The Sims is your oyster, as my dad would say. My dad always says, the world is your oyster, Maddie. Go get it. So I've always been a dreamer. <laughs> uh, anyways, moving on uh, for these walls here, I wanted the lighting to be really nice. Using lighting is kind of a, a wall lighting is quite an inexpensive way in The Sims 4 to create dynamic and interesting wall art. So I did that and I am deliberately keeping the cost down in this house because I want it to be a house you can move your sims into that's definitely better than a starter home but it's not like you're saving for your sims entire life to try and move them into a mansion <laughs> so yeah trying to keep it somewhat affordable uh yeah it was fun I really really enjoyed doing this I I love doing simple little builds I know Sometimes uh, you guys ask for like big mansions or really big impressive builds, you know, uh, that are really like, wow, wow factor builds. And sometimes I do them. I definitely do them and I love doing them. But other times I enjoy just doing nice, simple houses and just you know, quietly building and enjoying it. So, <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um so what has happened this past week? You would have noticed fewer videos. Uh, this was due to me going to Gamescom in Germany. I got very jet lagged. I was very tired. And I decided, you know what? I'm going to have a week off recording my voice. But I was doing builds. So I did the big uh, cathedral build, the white cathedral, which was a big one. And 
and that's not necessarily big in size, but big in how long it took me, like details. And then I did this one, but I didn't record the voiceover until now. And I've also done another starter home and because you guys were asking for more starter homes and I've also done a kid's bedroom because some of you guys were asking, can you please do some more room builds? So definitely listening to your comments. Uh, a lot of the time I will read comments and not necessarily respond, uh, but I am reading them. I know that's that's naughty of me not to be responding to as many. Uh, I am reading them though, and I will be trying to be more responsive in uh, in this week because I feel like everything's back to normal now. It's not all like hectic. I'm not on the other side of the world. <laughs> so it's nice. It's nice, but I actually, uh, the other night, I came up with this concept for this house uh, when I couldn't sleep due to jet lag. So I was sitting up in bed, I was frustrated because I was like, oh, can't sleep. You know when you just is so frustrated because you're like, uh, why body, why won't you sleep even though I've done everything right? I've gone to bed early and I'm trying to relax myself and you just won't sleep. I had that issue. So one of my favorite things to do is make a nice tea and I'll sit in bed with my tea or some warm milk, lactose free, <laughs> I might add, and because I'm lactose intolerant. And then I'll sit in bed and I'll open up my moleskin sketchbook and I will just draw houses that I might want to build in The Sims or I might create or think about Sims families I want to create or storylines. I've done this for years, like well before I was a YouTuber or known for playing Sims. I would, one of my favorite things to stop me from getting stressed about not being able to sleep would be thinking about Sims storylines and it would just help me get to sleep. Uh, so this concept I actually drew and then on a live stream last week I showed you guys the drawings and a few others and you know what your responses were so sweet I really I really um I really loved your responses in the chat I live stream on Twitch uh if you guys don't know Twitch is like a website you just go to and you can watch people play games or cook or um create stuff it's just where people live stream and I do gaming over there. It's just delicacy. There'll be a link in the description. Um, but it's fun because we just kind of chill out. And it's a really intimate way for me to get to know you guys because um, as I'm live playing the game, uh, you guys can see me. You can type in the chat and I can respond like at the moment of whatever I'm doing. And just being able to do that is kind of, I don't mean to sound corny, but it's kind of a blessing because I don't know. It's just, even though we are obviously se separated through YouTube, like I create a video and you watch the video and you listen to me, I still feel really, really close to you guys. Like you guys are so close to my heart. It's the most bizarre thing to try and explain to people about what I do and why I'm so protective of my audience. Like, I don't even know if other, if other YouTubers feel this way, but for me, like, you guys are close to my heart. And my viewership, uh, you guys commenting and being there and supporting and watching and being engaged in my videos and content is, like, one of the best audiences ever. You guys are seriously an amazing group of people because, you know, I go to other channels, I go to other streams, and there's... A lot of rudeness there's a lot of like attitude in the chat and the comments and it's just like I come back to mine and obviously there's going to be negative comments sometimes critical comments comments that might not be very nice or feedback that's not nice at all but for most of the time you guys are amazing and yeah I'm rambling I'm really rambling I'm feeling really thankful though I think <laughs> feeling very thankful because I had a little break last week and it just makes me super duper 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 keen <laughs> to continue making content for you guys too. I don't even know what I was talking about now. I think I was just thanking you guys basically for the nice feedback from the drawings I did. So if you guys would like to see more drawings, I'll share them on Instagram or I'll share them on Twitter. Maybe not Instagram, I'll share them on Twitter or live streams. Uh, I'll keep just sharing them with you because yeah. Cool. It's nice game feedback. You know when you do something like you draw a picture or you make something, build something, design something, 
and then you show your mom or your dad or someone like that or a friend and you just want to hear what they say. Feedback is so important to me. So I liked it. Uh, back to the build though. We have just finished off this little share area and it's really small. I wanted to keep the cost of this house down. I didn't want to over accessorize it or over furnish it or put too many paintings in it. Uh, this is meant to be simple. This is meant to be ready for anyone to move their Sims in and whatever kind of Sims they are, whatever personalities they may have or storylines they're going to explore. This house is going to be super easy to customize for them and modify for them to suit the Sims, you know? That's basically what I was doing, aiming for. And uh, as I said before, it's all base game. So everything in this house should be just base game only. I think I, I, think I did it all right. Uh, occasionally, or actually, usually when I do a base game only build, I'll slip up and like one or two items will actually be from a pack, but it's not too much of a drama to just replace something else there. You can still download it, it just doesn't appear. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I love the front door. I love that glass door. <laughs> it's cool. Oh, this is a bit dizzy, isn't it? It's a bit much. Oh yeah, the cabinets are always a bit intricate. Intricate stuff, you know, switching around, trying to fit it all in and make it look pretty with the range hood. I'm actually going to be moving from my apartment. Uh, I know it sounds like far away. It's in four months time when my lease is up. But because I... Um, so like I heavily, heavily rely on my internet, uh, that my internet is good internet and fast internet to get content out and to live stream. I have to actually start thinking about what I'm doing now. So in four months time, I have guaranteed access to internet and it's like a seamless move where it's not going to change my videos coming out or anything like that. So I'm looking at different places with MBN in Australia and it sucks because most of you guys would have heard, you guys in Australia obviously know, but Australia's internet situation is not good. Um, we've had like our biggest phone company, Telstra, they pretty much, uh, I don't know for sure, but the general idea is that this big company paid the government uh, to make sure that the government didn't go ahead with implementing an original internet line called NBN. So this NBN that was going to be sent out everywhere, which was enabling the average Joe or the average person to have access to really good internet, uh, kind of got put to a halt when our new government came in. And uh, because this Telstra company was afraid that that would take away from their business, so we are still being told we're getting NBN and NBN still being put in, but it's like a different kind of NBN and it's not anything like the old one, which sucks. So it's really quite difficult to find the old NBN and people who advertise houses like to rent, they don't say anything about the internet. It's like, it's not going to say we have NBN. <laughs> so I actually have to ask them to do like a speed test or yeah. And with the competition of even trying to get a house out of like 20 other people, you don't want to be that person being like, can you do a speed test for me? Because they're like, yeah, let's just give the house to someone else. Cause this person's just annoying me. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. It's possible to move in with Biff with beef, <laughs> with my boy, uh, with boy flagrancy. That's kind of a possibility, but I don't know if we're ready for that yet. So we'll see. We'll see how we go. Uh, but who knows? The flagrancy could be your next, next door neighbor. That'd be cool. That'd be awesome. Uh, so this is a, actually, I'm pretty sure I used to live next door to a simile when I lived in Geelong. Because one time I posted a picture on Instagram kind of right near my house and they were like, oh my God, I can see my house. I was like, oh my God, that's a house next to my house. <laughs> so I thought that was quite funny. Uh, you can kind of see that the two houses in this build have their own thing going on, like one slightly different to the other. I wanted them to be slightly different and not matchy matchy. But then again, maybe I'll do like a pre-furnished kind of apartment block or something like that. That could be fun. More to like that. That'd be good. Uh, 
Yeah. And this is a kid's bedroom. So the nice thing with these builds, which I forgot to mention, is that they both have a master bedroom and they also have a small second bedroom. So it can be a kid's bedroom or a teenager bedroom, which is what I've been doing. Uh, or it could be like a study or a skill building room or like a tiny gym. I just like the idea of having these homes with some option, pardon me, of having enough space to have more than two sims here. The other thing is uh, if you made more money when your sims mo moved into this place, this long room, uh, my idea was that it would be really easy to put a staircase in there that goes to an upstairs level. So it's kind of ready to renovate to a two level apartment if you wanted to. And yeah, that'd be cool. Be really cool. Uh, I've also been really thinking about uh, two things quite a bit at the moment. Uh, one is wanting to get fitter. I, I want to work out more. I just, I feel like health is something that I want to do uh, to more so than just for me, but I really wanted to take the opportunity I have as being somewhat of an influencer on YouTube to help others uh, live a more healthy lifestyle. So I was thinking about that. And then the other thing I was thinking about a lot is uh, podcasts. I, I kind of think I'd love to do a podcast, but I don't know. I don't know what kind of podcast. So if you have any thoughts on that, do let me know. Wow, that's a weird photo to start off with. <laughs> hmm. Well, there's the side of the house. I'm sure we'll get to the front of the house in a little while. It might be the very end picture. Apologies. But this is like the back of the house. There's room for a little barbecue area on one. And the other one just has a garden bed. Going into the front door area where you have the small kitchen, a small kitchenette. And then uh, this is like the main shared lounge. It's got a toy box there. I wanted it to look quite family friendly. Uh, and then some pictures there, a nice pastel blue wall. This is the kids' bedroom in the first house. Uh, so lots of posters on the wall, very long, very narrow. As I said, you can put a staircase in here and make it a sec like two level thing. I love this master bedroom. I think it's really nice and simple, the colors. And uh, it's just like non-gender specific or anything. So that's kind of nice. Bathroom, the other bathroom is pretty much the same. So I didn't bother taking another picture of that. But this is the entrance room to the other house. And I quite like that wallpaper, how it's kind of that somewhat limey, greeny, yellow uh, and then this is the other kids' room, which is perhaps a bit more feminine. Yellow and grey is kind of nice. And yeah. Anyways, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this build. And oh, I love this room. I love the pink in this room. That's a nice room. That's a good one. I'd live there. Yep. Move me in. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, I hope you have had an amazing weekend and I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you're on the world. I'll speak to y'all soon. Bye.